Hello, welcome back to Guns and Outdoors channel. We certainly hope that you are doing well. Hey, if you haven't been fortunate enough to get your paws on the High Point G1 code name, the Yeet Cannon, then this video is for you. I had zero idea what the heck Yeet meant back in the day when this guy first came out. Per the Urban Dictionary, Yeet means to discard something at high velocity. It's a versatile word, can be used as an exclamation, verb, and a noun. And I'm gonna apologize to you all right now as I shared that my mind went straight into the gutter when I first heard about the clever marketing campaign. Oh, let's open the box here. There's a lock that comes with it. That High Point Firearms marketed when they let the public come up with the name and vote. Ultimately, they voted on the Yeet Cannon. Here, look at that. Ghost ring sight. Pretty funny. Here's your accessories. It's not just a gun. It's the cannon. This thing is... <laughs> Bananas, man. Can you imagine taking the stand in court to testify in a self-defense scenario that you shot an intruder and saved the day with your yeet cannon? <laughs> Anyways, make sure you like and subscribe down below to the channel as we forego the traditional tabletop review here and not take ourselves too seriously. So the yeetster is going into a temporary holding pattern. The evidence room for some fun banter and afterwards, we're going to take it out to the range. Stand by. There's two things in Mansfield, Ohio. High Point and the Mansfield Reformatory. Dang. And the joke is? The prisoners made the guns. <laughs> oh gosh. Certainly looks like it. Mm. Yeet cannon for the win. Well, we should tighten this down. But that's... I don't know if that's a yeet cannon or... <laughs> a grenade. You can never have enough Loctite on no. the, the Yeetster. It's all about how you torque it. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, that's the spec. Is this a Trigicon? Or uh, not Trigicon? No. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I mean, what is it? True Glow? What no. Is it, what is it? Uh, Sightmark? No, or, that's uh, Amazon. That's a, dude, that's, honestly, that's, that's a, a, a $14.99 optic. $14.99? Yep. That's quality right there. It's Chinese best, man. Mm. Front sight on that. That's impressive. They put a lot of a lot of work into these things. Um, you know, I mean, this this teaches prisoners they can they can be rehabilitated and have a second chance at society. So to get the threaded barrel, it cost me three dollars extra. I had the choice between a nylon holster or the threaded barrel. So being that I'm all about competition and performance, I went with the threaded barrel. Three dollars. Oh, that's extreme value. Yeah, I had to had to get permission from the wife first before I made the decision, but. Mm -hmm. uh, Probably the best decision I've ever made. So once the once the JB well dries, um, I love the uh, silver li leaf. I mean, you see the quality they put into it. Yeah, um, look at that. One of my favorite parts about this mm -hmm. is the Dremel work they did. You see, it just it just shows. Oh my god! The perfection. Um, I mean, they they really just the, the amount of effort they put into this. Thing and this is, is brand new. Brand new. Oh my gosh. You've got to get the pizza box. I'm sure the guy, the guy when I got this, the guys took the bag. Yeah. And there were evidence on it. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Yeah. So. Dude. So it's it's compatible. You can use a Hollow Sun. Well, this adjustment is, key. This is an Amazon dot. So, oh. Um, so yeah, I got this gem off Amazon, of Amazon. pick rail. Yeah. Um, Looks like it came right off a 3D printer. So the 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 the, the dovetail sight. Yeah. Um, and this. Uh, amazing optic that mm. has a lot of features except for shake the weight. Doesn't have shake the weight, um, <laughs> but it has a, a, <laughs> has many features. So I got the dovetail sight, 
the 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 awesome optic and i got a beam but the beam unfortunately doesn't fit on here uh, all for 35 dollars darn so for 205 dollars you got a brand new gun that's set up with an optic so i can run 42 consulting red dot class <laughs> really looking forward to it sign up now yeah <laughs> sign gil, up now gil is gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> you get so much hate you know, you have to allow it to curate. You have to have your time when you put your pick rail on your so, e-cannon, guys. Sometimes so. you have a little bit of excess product. Uh-huh, a little you compressed just... air, uh-huh. Pro tip. Right next to the label. See, and don't let that splash on your label right there. So. No, God, the, the evidence tag? No. Yeah. Wow. Pro tip. All right, so seriously, why would anybody buy this thing? Well, I mean... Realistically, yeah, it's a hundred and what seventy dollars brand new. Uh huh. So if you're if you're into firearms and and this is all you can afford, great. I mean, I'm all for it. I'd rather I'd much rather you have something than nothing, right? Uh huh. But the reality of it is, you get what you pay for. I'm so baffled by this thing. It's throwing me off. Like, you know, are you kidding me? just are you, like looking at. I just it, keep looking it's like at a it. Bad accident. You just can't. You can't look away. Yeah, you cannot. <laughs> That's that's how I feel about it. It's heavy. It's cast iron that's not quality. You know, it's not like your mom's cast iron stove from the but it's early a, 1900s. It's a heat cannon, man. Darn. I mean, listen to it. Listen. That's just perfection. Jeez. Sugar's actually probably the best thing about it. Good Lord. Yeah, so there you have it. Is it a heavy trigger? About uh, probably five pounds. Don't run. Or sorry, don't hide. <laughs> run. <laughs> run to it or from run, it? Run and hide because the Yeet Cannon is, I mean, God, this thing's just amazing. There's nothing I don't like about this. <laughs> There's so much I hate about it. <laughs> That's the funny part. Oh, my goodness. Yeet 2023 for the win. All right, we're back at the range, getting ready to give the Yeet Cannon a go. I love this video. This is a very entertaining one. All right, in this case, we've taken our Yeet Cannon out of the evidence bag, right? So we've maintained chain of custody. We have JH for the John Hancock. Now this is post-apocalyptic scenario. This, this is a rapidly developing scene here. So we've got our zombie target. We're gonna send this guy out to 30 feet. One of the things you have to think about in a zombie scenario is you can't have a re green dot. So if you're running the dot, you're running green, this is the time you want to regress a little bit, go back to red. All right, so switch it over. Let me give it a go here at 30 feet. We only have a few amount of rounds here. What is this? Seven plus one, eight plus one. And this guy only comes with one magazine. So just keep that in mind. Also, I may not be able to load the magazine on the screen, so what you'll see me is kind of step to my right and I'll load up. That way we're in good with the YouTubes and the GNU guidelines. So I am... It does have a safety. This pistol, if I didn't state it before, it will not fire unless you have a magazine on it. All right, so let me go ahead and load it now. Okay, I had full magazine. I've got a nose dive in my magazine. So hold on. Let me get this. I got a failure to feed. So let me get this sorted. Okay, I had to push up on this magazine. It doesn't have an anti tilt follower. So it's always something, right? All right, so let me get this sorted out. I did eject one. So yeah, just keep good discipline here. All right, let's give it a go. How accurate do you think this is going to be? <laughs> Let me go on safe. It, uh, man, it has a definitely an interesting feel. Let's pull it in real quick, guys. Let's see how we did. I have no guarantees on this one. All right, what do we got here? I don't even know if you can see it. So a little high, a little high. There we are. We're in the nine ring, but I'll take that. I think all things considered, I think any of us would take that. All right, 
Well, we got more bad guys coming. And there's not just gonna be one, that's for sure. All right, let's send her out. Mm. That was interesting. Let's see I'll if I can zoom in on that. Yeah. It up and down the center line. We did the job. Had one low left, so that's our trigger pull. But essentially, that's a cannon. Wow. Hmm. Let me know what you think about that. Would you EDC a yeet cannon? I don't know. All right, oh, oh, I gotta load. I got to load up. Should be a quick reload. Only have one magazine, so. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, You're gonna carry this. It's definitely got some items you need to seriously consider for you. <laughs> it's going bang. Oh man, it's uh, look at that, did a little headshot. I think we're warming up with the yeet cannon, look at that. What do you guys think? You just go with that. Yeet cannon did really good on that, the G1. So what do you think, how the yeet cannon do? Is it something you'd consider? What about if somebody gave you one, would you keep it? Or would you go out and buy one just because it's a novelty? What are your thoughts? We're all interested down below. You guys know my position. <laughs> I kind of think I'd pass. I wouldn't use my hard-earned money on this particular model just yet. But speaking of other models, remember at SHOT Show this year, in case you missed it, they do have a 10 millimeter version. That's a popular caliber. It's, a, in my opinion, a redesign. I have not had a chance to shoot it. So high point, if you want to send one out our way, reach out to us. We'll have, gladly take a look. It looks like a more of a redesign. This particular one is the older model. They are doing a newer model of the Yeet Cannon that has your uh, Picatinny rail, different grips, slide serrations, and another optic cut on the top. They're torn between going with a plate or going with another pick rail. Remember this guy's business case, his use case is really low end. So they may not pack all those features into it. Timeline on that is estimated to be about another year. And on that note, I had fun. Appreciate my buddy who you saw in the video earlier. This is his gun. <laughs> I loved the back and forth that we did. Made it really fun, made it really interesting. I got one for you as we sign out. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Imagine things didn't end well. And the last thing you ever saw was a heat cannon. See you.